Hey everybody, it's me, Bob Anderson of Bob Anderson Art. And I thought it would be funny to make a funny face because it's when you see the video at first, it's like, what is that expression, okay? Well, that's just a joke. Anyway, I am Bob Anderson of Bob Anderson Art and I am here to begin my second series on how to paint a painting. I just finished the first one and you may have seen parts of it or all of it. And I painted a beautiful landscape uh, painting, which had a beautiful blue sky and beautiful mountains covered by evergreen trees and a beautiful river that ran through it. And I just finished it. So I thought, okay, now I'm gonna start another painting. But what kind should I start? Should I do another landscape or an abstract or surreal? Those are the kind of three categories that I basically paint in. But I, th as I thought, no, I'm gonna do something different today. I'm going to paint another still life of flowers. I only did one 20 years ago. And you can see it on my website, bobandersonart.com. There's one still life, a beautiful still life I did of these this vase filled with these beautiful flowers uh, in front of these shutters. And like I said, you can check it out. But uh, I found this image and I had it printed on an eight by 10 photograph. And I love it. It is a uh, still life of all these beautiful uh, flowers, all these beautiful voluptuous uh, uh, flowers in a vase on a table, kind of asymmetrical. And I thought this would make a great still life to paint, okay? So notice that the image is a vertical rectangle. So I chose a canvas that's a vertical rectangle so that they are proportionately equivalent, okay? So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna paint the background. Now, if you notice down here, it's like a dark blue, kind of grayish blue, kind of going in and out of lightness and darkness behind the vase and the flowers. So I'm gonna do the whole painting, the whole canvas first like that, and then I will grid off the canvas, grid off the image so that I can put the right parts from the image onto the canvas, okay? So, first I'm starting with, I put white, I use acrylic paints, so I put white, and black and uh, burnt umber and uh, turquoise, muted turquoise and a cerulean blue on the plate, okay? And so what I'm doing is I already started this and to do the background, I'm gonna do it in a crosshatch, kind of a textural crosshatch, which is kind of like a, a very painterly way. It has creates a nice texture uh, by going back and forth cross hatching everything that I'm putting onto the canvas over itself so it all kind of blends and has a real nice look to it. I am also painting this painting on a gallery wrap canvas, which means it's a thick frame and the canvas wraps around all the edges. So when you paint it, you paint the whole front and all the sides so that it hangs on the wall all by itself. It doesn't need a frame, but frames are great if you can afford it. Okay, so I'm painting this background, this bluish grayish undulating, it's got a light, light areas and dark areas, and I'm putting it on the whole canvas first. So I'm going back and forth. Cross hatching crisscrossing my brush strokes, brush strokes over each other so that it creates this real cool blended background that looks great. So I want to make sure I get it all the way across the front, all the way wrapped around the sides, crisscrossing my strokes over each other. It's a very cool look, very painterly. 
That's what Julie, this wonderful woman that I used to work with as a decorative painter almost 30 years ago, that's what she would describe this kind of technique as very painterly. I always love that term, very painterly. So I'm gonna to continue to do this whole canvas in this background color, and then I'll come back and I'll, my next video, I'll begin to explain how I'm going to grid off the image and the canvas so that the right areas from the photograph can be painted onto the correct appropriate areas on the canvas, okay? Good to see you and I'll see you soon, bye-bye.